What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Coco929. I was just coming on here to share some information with you guys. So, check this out. Everybody know yesterday was my 22nd wedding anniversary. So, we always take two days to celebrate. So, today is the... Uh, we grilled out and everything. And just chillax, lay back a little bit. Um, I was kind of disappointed in myself. Um, I didn't, didn't make my weight go. Let me start from the beginning. Um, I was never a big person until they implemented a drug called Depravera. Depravera came on the scene in the late 80s, early 90s. <clears throat> and because birth control pills, for some reason, didn't work for me, my doctor suggested me getting on the Depravera shot. So I did. First month, I did, well, first set of shots, which is three months. It's supposed to last for 90 days. I did pretty well. Second set of shots, I blew up. It's like within, I want to say a 90-day period, I gained 50 pounds. Uh, I, we still didn't equate that to the shot, okay? So I got another shot. It's another 90 days. And... I gained 50 to 60 pounds within that time. Um, so my auntie said, it's something wrong because you're putting on so much weight and that's not you. So everybody, well, I ain't going to say everybody because I don't know everybody, but most of the people I know, when you start gaining weight like that, it makes you depressed in a way. You don't know you're depressed. It's just like, uh, you know, but I saw... Um, myself changing in the underclothes that I bought because you know um I went from one size underwear to another size underwear and then to another size I'm like wait a minute now you know I've always had a big butt I've always said nice thighs my measurements actually used to be 38 32 42 because my behind has always been big okay what these people are going to have surgery for and getting shots in their butt and stuff and make them big and all that. Like I said, I'm not knocking nobody to do for doing whatever. But what they do that for, I didn't have to do. Okay? I was blessed in that area. So, I used to run. I was very athletic. Um, I, run, I ran cross country. Um, I skated all the time, roller skated all the time. I, I am a really good roller skater. Um, my dad just stopped at 62, two years before he passed away. So that's something that I desire to do because it was great exercise and stuff like that. Thank you, son. So anyway, y'all, um, so over the years, you get, after a while, you get comfortable with that type of weight. And it equates to a form of bondage. Then I start dealing with the molestation, the incest, the rapes, the abuse. I start dealing with all of that. And I started eating, eating. Like, instead of the Depravera shot making me bad, my eating habits kicked in. So, make a, make a long story short, I actually, at my uh, highest and unhealthiest weight, uh, got to 309 pounds. Can you believe it? 309. Even at that weight, I wasn't sloppy with it, but nevertheless, 309. Um, when I started seeing... After a while, that I could not uh, enjoy my marriage in a way. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now, don't get me wrong. I still did some the vizzle stuff in the bedroom, but it wasn't the same. You know, I felt it wasn't the same. Um, and when I started, I don't know. You just, you get to a point. You're not yourself. It's like you're inside of yourself. It's like the person inside of you is like, you know, let me out of here. Let me out of here. And I begin to 
just retreat in a way <clears throat> and everything because like I said I was dealing with some horrific stuff from my past um, dealing with spirit of rejection uh, from everything because everything comes from the spirit of rejection believe it or not so I felt like my family let me down because some of the things that happened to me should have never happened it just shouldn't and you know it's hard to face stuff with family when it was family who started the destruction process of your life you know well make a long story short I finally it was other events that happened and I'm just condensing this because I hate real long lives I just do I'm recording so I'm condensing it um so I got to a point I started to talk to myself in a way and say okay Coco you're no longer that person anymore. You're, you know, you've dealt with all these issues. You finally got your doctorate degree. Like everything had begun to line up in my life for the better. Everything but my weight. My, my life was great. But when you looked at me, I when I looked at myself, put it like it, that was the only thing that I still was not completely proud of is that I had not conquered that one thing that still solidified when I was unhealthy in spirit, mind, and body, okay? So I made up my mind after two death scares because I, uh, I almost died twice in 2019. So after two death scares, I said, okay, enough is enough. For however long the Lord is going to bless me or allow me to be here, I'm going to be at my best, I'm, I'm just going to be at my best. Anybody who's going to be in my life has to line up. Any people that's going to be around me has to be on their A game. Any people I associate with has to be on their A game because I'm going to be on mine. It's very important that the people around you are standing strong and are solid people, you know, because... When you come from unstableness, stability is very important in every aspect. So, I have been cleaning house. Not physical house, I'm talking about house of old things, old people, old mindsets. I don't care who you are. If you are attached to anything that brought me harm or anything that, if you're not stable, you can't help me stay stable. See, that's what I'm saying. Plus, I'm in the business of helping other people get their life in order. So I have to make sure that my team is a strong team. Okay? Iron shopping's iron. That's what the word says. So you have to be on your A game if you're going to be attached to me so we can be on our A game together, you know? So one of the things I did do that I wanted to do was start taking my physical health in my hands and doing something about it. So therefore... I went from 309 to 259 and that's where I am that's where I am right now 259 I did not go to I wanted to be 250 by May 2nd 2020 which was yesterday which was my anniversary but I didn't get it the last two weeks I've been healing my foot I hurt my foot and I couldn't put any pressure on it so I had to have a crutch and have it elevated so I couldn't do no walking. I barely could move my foot because if I just moved my foot a little bit, it was so painful. It was sending pains from my foot up to my head. That's how painful it was. So I'm able to put pressure on it now, but it still is not to where I need it to be for me to go. Because, you know, those of you who follow me, y'all know your girl was out here getting it every day. Every day I was walking, every day. So um, I didn't make my go. <clears throat> I'm still... Nine pounds off. I'm still 259. So, I've started, my birthday is in September, hence my name, Coco uh, Coco 929, okay? So, I will be 50. And, um, I have made up my mind that in celebration of me being 50, I will lose 50 pounds, okay? So, not only will I be getting my first tattoo at the age of 50, I love butterflies, so I want a butterfly, okay? But I will also be 50 pounds lighter as a birthday gift to me. Because I have wonderful grandkids. I love my grandkids. You all know I have a lot of kids. 
Hello, I'm the mother that lived in the shoe. Um, but my life is so bright. Things are going so well. Even in the midst of what's going on in the world, God is still faithful with me. And I owe God more than what I've given him. And I can say that. A lot of people don't want to be honest, but I can say that. And I owe my family, as far as my household is concerned, much more than what I've been able to give. So, and, and more to the point, y'all, I'm doing this for me. I owe me more than what I've, what I've given myself over these last 10 years, okay? So, my cat better stop. Um, also, what I've been doing, um, my husband has also been getting healthier physically like myself. He didn't want me. <laughs> He didn't want me to do all this weight loss stuff. And then he's like, nah, you ain't leaving me. <laughs> but see, I also have, and I, I don't want to use this as an excuse, but I also have fibroids, you guys. <clears throat> and I have nine and a half fibroids. That is, the nine is the size of a ping pong ball or a golf ball. And any woman who knows about fibroids, you know how that weighs on your back. It weighs on your stomach. It makes you look like you're pregnant. Because they told me my fibroids... Uh, has my stomach as if I am in my second trimester of pregnancy. So, which is true. And, uh, but I'm doing my part. I've been researching because I research herbs and everything. So, I've been on herbs for a minute. But now, since I'm more focused and more dedicated, and if I did the first 50, I know I can do the second 50. So, with that being said... I'm just encouraging anybody to follow their dreams, set you a goal, write your goals down. Every, you know, every day check on your goals. Like, I weigh myself twice a week. Maybe I shouldn't, but I do. Um, so, I said with this set, I'm just going to weigh myself once a week. So, I'm going to weigh myself tonight before I go to bed or either early in the morning. And then each week from here on out until I reach my goal, I'll be weighing myself. And I do know about weight loss is sometimes you lose pounds, but sometimes you lose inches. You don't lose any pounds. You just lose inches. However, it works for me. That's what I wanted to do. But my ultimate goal is to be 50 pounds lighter by my birthday. Okay? So, I do have me a fit. Outfit, that is. That's a birthday outfit. I might not wear it on my birthday, but that's my I did it outfit. So, even if I don't do them but wear that for an hour, I'm going to get that thing on and I'm going to look great in it. So, it's not anything vanity. It's not vanity why I want to do this. It all has something to do with me and, and taking control of my life. So, I did want to share that with you guys. I told you I do drink spring water. Spring water to me is life. It means life. So, that's what I do. Um, so... I don't want to give too much away yet because I want to, I'm going to take a before picture like of me now. And then in, at the end of May, well, like it's this time next month, June, I'm going to take another one to see if there's any changes. But I will be coming on here per periodically and discussing what, you know, what's going on and everything like that. So if anybody need me, you know my email address. If not, it is on my page. I do want to tell everybody thank you so much for your kind words and your support. Thank you for being one of my Hershey's Kisses, Coco. Um, those of you who uh, wanted my books, um, I did send you back an email letting you know about the books. And let's see. Of course, to my girl, Bama Girl. Hey, thank you so much, girl, for your support, sis. I do. I really appreciate you, and thank you so much for your support. TC, you my girl, too. You know you are. You my girl, Pearl. <laughs> and Q, thank you so much, also, boo, for showing us uh, and some of the slow people in the back that you're not in the wheelchair and all that. But even if you was, you're still my girl, Pearl. So, anyway, this is Coco 9 to 9, y'all. Enjoy your life because you only get one on this side of heaven. Smooches.